Okay, I've already completed one eye right here. I've just done eyeshadow and eyeliner for time purposes, and I did my eyebrows on this one. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Jordana Good Match 06, and I'm going to use both shades, and I've been using this a lot. Um, first, I'm going to use a lighter shade um, to just add more highlight to my brows, and then I'm going to use the medium brown as a transition. So... I'm going to use the same brush. What I did was I used um, one side for the highlight and then I used the other side for the transition brown. So that's the transition. And then I'm going to be using, um, this is the Comfort Zone palette from Wet n Wild and I'm going to be focusing on, the eyelid is going to be this green, and then I'm actually going to use these three, these two plus this one, um, to do the, the dark brown corner. I don't want it to be too dark because I think weddings should be kind of light, but I want to add a little airiness. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my eyelid with the light green. Now, using, I'm going to actually combine, sorry, I'm just going to tap in these three. So it's the dark green, the, the club dupe, and then the dark brown. And then I'm just going to so I know I went a little over, but I can fix that. Then I'm going to go back into the green, and I'm actually going to tap the green, and then I'm going to tap this yellow because I want it like a highlighted green. And then the next thing that I'm going to grab is the Wet n Wild gel liner in black and I'm going to outline my I actually tap it in here and then I, I kind of rub it in on the lid and I'm just going to go over the eyelid Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is put my foundation on to cover up any mistakes. So I'm using the CoverGirl Queen, and because the wedding is the wedding was outside, I actually mixed it with the Superstay um, because it's humidity resistant, transfer resistant, and in Texas it's hot as heck. And the wedding was the ceremony was outside, um, but the reception was inside. And while everyone else was sweating off their makeup, I can truly say mine didn't sweat off. So here is where I was kind of experimenting on, um, sorry, putting that up, on contouring. 
I have the Mary Kay, which is way, way, way too dark. And it is the Bronze 708. And I'll show you. You see how dark that is? That is not anywhere near my skin tone. So, what I did was I take the Real Techniques brush and you kind of dust it off. Um, Bobby Brown's, she was showing how if you do it here and here, you get rid of the appearance of a double chin. So you follow your jawline and then you go right on top of your double chin. So, And Eve Pearl had the same technique, so I figured it can't be too wrong if both artists have, have it on theirs. And then, where's that brush? I take a foundation brush and I'm just going to get a little bit on here. And then I'm going to take this and then draw that line. And then I use the other one to buff it out. And so if you feel like there's anything that you need to be touched up on, then I take the remainder and I just hit the temples. To highlight, I'm actually going to the Ben Nye Neutral Cream Crayon. And so you just, you draw the little tree branch. Ooh, went over. And for the Ben Nye powder, I actually mix topaz and banana. And I mix it in a little dish. And then, because the banana is too pale and the topaz has yellow in it. And since I, right now, I like the way the, the yellow looks. And let me put this over my shirt since I'm wearing black. I don't want to get it all over me. blush, I use the Makeup Forever Sculpting Brush number 28, and that's the rose one. Sorry, it cut off. Um, for the face powder, I use the Fit Me 340. And I used a kabuki brush to put it all over and to set the foundation. 
because I'm going for a, a, a light look. I'm not trying to do super heavy. For mascara, I actually combine the Bad Girl Lash and the They're Real. First the Bad Girl Lash and then I use the They're Real. And then last but not least is the lipstick. Since I'm just trying to sip it um, close to a neutral lip, I'm using Penelope Pink by CoverGirl Queen. And then I'm going to outline it with um, a brown lip liner. Let me do my hair, and then I'll come back with the final product. See you guys. Okay, this is the finished look. Um, like I said, you know, it's, um, I had a green dress, and I'll insert a photo of me um, in the dress that I wore for my friend Khadijah's wedding. And I hope you like it. It's it's light. It's I think it's wedding friendly, but you could definitely wear this to work if you had a conservative office. Um, you can wear it on a date, just Sunday. I just think it's it's nice, it's fresh, um, and with fall coming, I know that I'm going to want to start wearing deeper, darker colors, and so I try to pick a nice median between the dark and the light, um, and it's, most importantly, it is summer proof. So the, the foundation makes sure that I don't sweat, I don't look horrible in the heat and then as it cools off I'm not worrying about having to reapply because um wet and wild eyeshadows actually last a pretty good long time the um eyeliner gives that smoky look um the only thing for me is that I am horrible with my eyebrows it's like one always looks really really good and then the other one looks kind of flat so I'm still working on that I know they're not twins they're cousins but still I'm just I'm not happy with it <laughs> But I hope you guys like this look. Um, I will be doing more makeup tutorials. Um, I just wasn't feeling very well last week. I hurt my back trying to do home improvement. And then um, with, I, you know, with school starting, there was a lot of drama with work and everything. So expect to see more videos. Thank you for your patience. I hope you guys like the tutorial and hope you like the look. Um, the wig is actually free tress equals Tory. I just thought I'd try something different with, you know, the little blonde. I want to see blonde really had more fun. But um, I just wanted to try something that was a little more glamorous for my friend's wedding. So I hope you like it and I will see you guys later. And as always, know that you are loved and blessed. Bye.